Hello everyone, this is Tim, and this is going to be another depression vlog. I didn't really feel like doing the whole camera thing today, so I'm just going to do my audio. I have stopped taking antidepressants because of the side effects. They uh, were a little just too, um, too much for me after a while. Some of them took uh, a little while for them to, to crop up in my system. But I seem to be particularly sensitive to the side effects of the medications I was on. And I think overall I tried about eight different medications. Uh, some were better than others, but they all had you know pros and cons. Uh, Prozac, I kind of felt like a, a robot most of the time. And I had like no creativity. It was kind of strange. Um, and there's just other side effects I really don't want to go into. But, uh, so where am I at these days? These days I sort of am back to where I was, but, but different. I think taking the antidepressants must have jump-started some sort of biological processes in my mind. <laughs> I think, uh, maybe some of the neurotransmitters are working better, or I have more of them, or something like that. Because, overall, I think I'm better. I'm also going to therapy. I just cut back to you know once every three weeks, but I might have to go back every two weeks, <laughs> just because some of these weeks have been a little bit hard. I find that I tend now to have clusters of bad days, but I sort of accept them. Like this is this is how it is. Like don't. Don't let it get you further down that you're like this, that you can't control it. Just just let it happen and try to think logically and make decisions that, you know, are, are constructive and not self-destructive uh, for the most part. But then there's some decisions that, you know, that could be self-destructive, but they're a lot of fun. <laughs> so... Uh, I've been actually trying to do some of those too, where, you know, I'm not trying to talk myself out of everything that's enjoyable and just trying to enjoy each day for what it is. Take whatever opportunities are presented, sometimes even making opportunities, and just trying to live my life in the best way possible. It, uh, it's, it's still difficult, but uh, what I'm doing seems to be working overall. In those clusters of days that are really bad, and so it's, uh, it's kind of interesting. I, I I tend to have someone who's trying to talk to me or or checking in on me, and it's kind of funny that people online can tell if I'm having a a bad day. Uh, maybe I post different, or maybe I use different words. I'm not sure, but they often can tell. They're like, are you all right today? I'm like, eh, not really. Uh, how are you doing? You know, I, I tend to try to talk more about them, but. Uh, in the end, I, I think I benefit. So I uh, just want to get a shout out to to John Poland, aka the Master of Flowers. Uh, you know, he's helped me out through some of those rough days. Uh, Macabre Derek or Macabre Der Derek, however you want to pronounce it, uh, just checked on in on me yesterday, and uh, that was really cool. It it uh, it helped me out. So so thank Derek, thank you Derek. It was a uh, it was something cool, but. Uh, as far as RPG content, we'll see how that goes in the future. I don't really seem to have any ideas at the moment. I'll try to get something up and running, but uh, yeah, I, I don't want to put out things just because I feel like I have to. I, I want to have the ideas. I tend to be a very all or nothing person. So when I get ideas, I tend to get like 10 of them. And then I have like this, this period of uh, like dry, airy desert with tumbleweeds when I just don't get anything. It's also kind of frustrating, I'm sure, for the people that are helping me with uh, my module, uh, Suffering of the Moth Queen. Uh, has no deadline, because I'm not sure when we're going to finish it. But it's slowly been coming together, and that's, that's pretty cool. And again, that's an RPG adventure. But uh, as far as today is, I'm, I'm feeling lethargic. I'm doing what I need to do, and I need to go to work later. But at the same time, I feel like I'm functioning at a lower level than, say, a normal person would. I have to kind of force myself to do things. and uh, 
it's just difficult. But I want to thank everyone who's uh, followed me for whatever reason, checking these out. I hope that whatever part of the, the process of healing you're in, even if you're at the very beginning, and maybe you haven't taken any steps to help yourself, uh, just want to say thanks for listening, and that I hope wherever you are, you can make make choices that make your life better. You know, uh, you know, life I think is built of lots of responsible decisions piled up on top of each other. But like I said, don't uh, <laughs> don't forget about having fun. Those uh, you know, even like semi dangerous things can uh, can make a lot of good memories. Just uh, <laughs> Just make sure you come out the other side, you know? But, uh, yeah, this is me. Uh, for what it's worth, a short little, I guess, update depression video. Uh, I hope you're all doing well out there. Thanks.